KVGC News Time, now seven minutes after the hour. Well, after no power for almost seven days due to last week's winter storm, PG&E crews restored power to all Calaveras County residents late yesterday. Crews plowed snow and removed downed trees and branches in order to get to downed power lines and damaged equipment. Utility spokesperson Megan McFarland reported that 581 customers left without electricity along the Highway 4 corridor were restored late yesterday. According to McFarland, significant progress in repairing storm damage and getting customers back online was made Wednesday night and throughout the day on Thursday. The utility was hopeful for full restoration by today or tomorrow. Well, deputies investigating a suspicious vehicle in Valley Springs headed with the San Andreas pair behind bars on numerous charges. At 3 in the afternoon, February 1st, the Calaveras deputy and probation officers observed suspicious behavior by two occupants of a parked vehicle near Sender's Market. The pair were identified as Jessica Brower and Timothy Potts. Among the items immediately visible inside the vehicle, several credit cards displaying various names, none of which matched the names of the vehicle occupants. Deputies also located 11 grams of methamphetamine and two smoking pipes. Deputies continued searching the vehicle, located several blank checks as well as numerous fictitious checks made out to POTS. Additionally, numerous social security numbers and private personal info from both citizens and businesses and several altered driver's license located. The investigation will continue over the next several weeks with efforts focusing on contacting and interviewing the many victims. This is an ongoing investigation, no further info has been made available. And Caltrans is preparing to begin a curb ramp project that will improve safety and mobility for pedestrians at various locations near the intersection of Highway 88 and 49 here in Jackson. The project includes the installation and upgrade of curb ramps, driveways, and sidewalks for accessibility compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act. Work also will be conducted at the South Fork Jackson Creek Bridge, Jackson Creek Bridge, and the North Fork Jackson Creek Bridge. The work is scheduled to begin from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Monday and will continue weeknights from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. with one-way traffic control lane closures. Flaggers will assist motorists and changeable message signs will alert motorists of potential 15-minute delays. Alternate routes are encouraged. The $3.16 million project is scheduled to be completed in summer. Well, the Safeway Pharmacy in Jackson has partnered with Amador County to begin providing COVID-19 vaccination appointments. The COVID-19 vaccine currently being prioritized for the following people Persons aged 75 and older, living and or working in the county, and those in Phase 1A who live and or work in the county. Please bring proof of eligibility to the appointment. For employment-based groups, acceptable proofs include ID work badges, professional licenses, and or pay stubs. Individuals fitting into the category of 75 plus should bring ID cards showing date of birth, proof of county residency, and a medical prescription card to their appointment. Now, anybody who shows up and are not from a qualified phase and tier priority group will be denied. Register for an appointment at the Safeway Pharmacy online at mhealthsystem.com 2778 Amador. Or even easier, just go online and visit the Safeway Pharmacy. And another IRS Social Security scam is making the rounds. Scammers are using the appearance of calling local, f- or pardon me, Another IRS Social Security scam is making the round. Scammers are using the appearance of calling on local phone numbers and claiming that Social Security funds are at risk. And you need to speak with a member of the U.S. Marshals Force. Now, scammers are using what's called co-generators to grab random local numbers to show up on caller IDs that make it appear as though the call is from a legitimate person. Many times the scammers have been posing as officials with the IRS and they try to prey on people by telling them they need to talk with a U.S. Marshal. Callers are then transferred to a U.S. Uh, to a fake U.S. Marshal who uh, tries to convince them to put money into a prepaid gift card account. 
Amador Undersheriff Gary Redman reminds us it's important to keep in mind that the IRS or Social Security will never contact you by phone, and any correspondence they need is through a written letter. Redman says if you get such a call, just hang up. Well, as football fans come up with a new game plan for this year's Super Bowl festivities, CHP still reminding everyone, put safety first. California public health officials encourage residents to gather outdoors with no more than three households. In addition, Californians should stay close to home, limit non-essential travel. If you must travel, CHP wants to remind you, drive sober, avoid distractions, always buckle up, leave plenty of time to get to your destination. Statewide, four people died in alcohol-involved collisions in California on Super Bowl Sunday 2020, and 120 people were injured. In addition, CHP made more than 300 DUI arrests that day. Now, CHP officers will be on high alert for impaired drivers this weekend. Alcohol, not the only substance that can lead to a DUI arrest. Cannabis, prescription meds, and illegal drugs can all impair your driving ability. The public can help keep California roads safe by calling 911 if they suspect an impaired driver. Callers should be prepared to give the vehicle description, location, license plate number, and direction of travel. And a quick reminder for you, I own Community Blood Drive coming up on Monday, Evelyn Bishop Hall, sponsored by Christie Roots Insurance, 1230 to 530. Be sure to eat well, drink plenty of water prior to donating, and bring a photo ID. You are encouraged to make an appointment. Contact Vitalant.org to do so. And uh, for more information, call Christy Roots Insurance, 274-4543. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Friday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Local news brought to us today as a service of Howard's Body Shop and Volcano Communications. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website, kvgcradio.com.